This is a reading from the Old Testament. One of the things that people sometimes find a bit tricky about the Old Testament is, let's be honest, the names. Uh, I mean, take today's story. It's got uh, this guy, this really weird name in it. He, he's called David. Uh, I don't know what you're thinking. Nobody's ever called that these days. Uh, so I figured maybe we needed some way of sort of remembering these these names. And uh, I came up with a cunning way of, of helping us. I have turned his name into a picture. Yep, that's David. Trust me, this will revolutionise your understanding of this passage. It goes like this. David again brought together all the able young men of Israel. 30,000 of them. He and all his men went to Bala. That's Bala. In Judah, to bring up from there the Ark of God, which is called by the name, the name of the Lord Almighty, who is enthroned between the cherubim on the ark. They set the ark of God on a new cart and brought it from the house of Abinadab. His house was uh, uh, on the hill. Uh, Abinadab's sons, that's Uzzah and Ahio, were guiding the new cart with the Ark of God on it, and Ahio was walking in front of it. David was celebrating with all his might before the Lord. So were the other Israelites. They had castanets and tambourines, sistrums, cymbals and lyres. When they came to the threshing floor of Nacorn, the oxen stumbled and Uzzah reached out and took hold of the Ark of God. The Lord's anger burned against Uzzah because of his irreverent act. Therefore God struck him down. And he died there beside the Ark of God. Then David was angry. Because the Lord's wrath had broken out against Uzzah. And to this day, that place is called Perez Uzzah, which means outbreak against Uzzah. David was afraid of the Lord that day and said, How can the Ark of the Lord ever come to me? He was not willing to take the ark of the Lord to be with him in the city of David. Instead, he took it to the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite. The ark of the Lord remained in the house of Obed-Edom the Gittite for three months, and the Lord blessed him. Now King David was told, because of the ark of God, the Lord has blessed Obed-Edom and his entire household. So David went to bring up the Ark of God from the house of Obed-Edom to the city of David with rejoicing. When those who were carrying the Ark had taken six steps, they sacrificed a fattened calf and a bull. Wearing a linen ephod, David was dancing before the Lord with all his might. Told you so. While he and all Israel were bringing up the ark of the Lord with shouts and the sound of trumpets. <laughs> As the Ark of the Lord was entering the city of David, Michael, that's the daughter of the old King Saul, watched from a window. And when she saw King David leaping and dancing before the Lord, she despised him in her heart. They brought the Ark of the Lord 
and set it in its place inside the tent that David had pitched for it. After he had finished sacrificing burnt offerings and fellowship offerings before the Lord, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord Almighty. Then he gave a loaf of bread, a cake of raisins and a cake of dates to each person in the whole crowd of Israelites, both men and women. And all the people went to their homes. When David returned home to bless his household, Michael, daughter of Saul, came out to meet him and said, How the king of Israel has distinguished himself today, going around half naked, in full view of the slave girls of his servants, as any vulgar fellow would. David said to Michael, It was before the Lord who chose me rather than your father or any one from his house when he appointed me ruler over the Lord's people, Israel. I will celebrate before the Lord. I will become even more undignified than this, and I will be humiliated in my own eyes. But by these slave girls you spoke of, I will be held in honour.